usually with my videos, I will completely write it out. I will pre-plan it and I will execute it and do a lot of editing. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do it with this video because this is unplanned. I'm doing it on the fly. I don't want to do too much editing, but I want to be very transparent because since I've been a strong voice in the Crow community, when I did a video Crow to like a uh, $100 or Crow to a dollar, whatever it was, and it completely took off, I built a strong Crow community. So shout out to everybody there. So I feel as a YouTuber, as a person that's personally invested in Crow, has did a lot of videos about it, have a complete playlist about it. I wanted to really just be honest and be transparent about my thoughts of what's currently going on. I want to see live reaction from you guys with your thoughts of basically what's going on. So what I did was I wrote down like four bullets and points because I didn't want to babble too much and not get to the context of what I want to talk about. So the first thing is, why did I fall in love with Crow? What made me invest in Crow? First thing was using the app and the platform. The platform, I believe at the time, I don't know if they still have it. Let me know in the comments. Is when you sign up, they give you like the first 30 days with no fees. And it's real life, no fees. You can trade as much as you want. And it was just, and it was such a game changer to me because most, no crypto currency platform at least at that time was doing it so i took full advantage of it i love the interoperability and how easy the app was to use versus everybody else all the other apps just outdated it's not smooth with your hand it just don't flow and go right so that was the first reason i completely feel in love with the company the second thing is the long-term vision where did that come from it came from first their marketing and advertising was so unique and so different where it's like yo we're gonna do commercials hire the best people we're gonna literally buy the historic staple center you know that's that's historic and i just seen the moves that was making plus the utility like the company got like a good eight out of ten it was nothing i didn't like besides the coin circulation which is still you know debatable i don't i don't like it but we would get more into that the third thing is, where are we right now? I, over the last 72 hours, there has been a lot of situations where I just, and even before 72 hours, I can mark it, I can go back to the Super Bowl on how they did their commercial versus everybody else. Now, keep that thought. I'm going to get back to that. But within the last 72 hours, crypto as a group as a general has been crashing and it's been completely going down right and what i did because i made some profits i had a lot of crypto where i had we say like fifteen hundred dollars in my crypto.com wallet in between crow and usdc and my mindset is okay i'm going to dollar cost average in when i see some dips and I am strong into DeFi. So I'm literally going to switch some of that money that's in my crypto.com wallet to my DeFi wallet where, you know, I can invest in MMF or whatever it is. Right. So I have like 1500 sitting there. And what my game plan was to do $200 or $100 every two hours over there because I seen the dip and I didn't want to put all the way in and it keep on dipping. So the first one, I think like the first three actually went through with no problem. Now, what I mean by no problem, exactly what I did. Say if you have $1,000 of USDC in your crypto.com wallet, you can withdraw that into your DeFi wallet for like a dollar. And usually it takes one to five minutes at most for it to transfer over there. 15 to 30 minutes if all hell completely broke out right i did it and i'm waiting i do check my do my check my 10 to 15 minutes nothing 30 minutes later nothing one hour later nothing so now i'm questioning myself if i sent this money to the wrong wallet so i'm literally going back over wallets like yo i think i lost some crypto whatever it is and come to find out i didn't send it to the wrong wallet one transaction took 15 hours for my money 
to go from crypto.com wallet to my DeFi wallet 15 hours i missed out on a lot of money a lot of opportunity because when i wanted to like put in on we say savannah finance i didn't have the money to do it over there and it dipped down in within that 15 hours it went up like 20 cents or something so there's a lot of opportunity where i missed out and i never seen this happen before so i'm go on twitter is this happening to other people same thing i go on reddit same thing so at this point you have to reevaluate some things right i'm thinking i'm like okay well if this is going on this is not good for crypto.com this is not good for the ecosystem because y'all are whatever y'all doing is completely not working and we have been patient with you guys we've been patient with the price we didn't invest in crypto.com and crow to get rich overnight i always say this is a 20-year bet so yes we're going to have tough times we're going to have trials and tribulations but i think it's time to get back focus on the initial game plan and that's the main thing i want to talk about is where i believe crypto.com should go from here where i believe you should go from here and exactly what i am doing first with crypto.com if anybody on the team end up watching this i believe this is my opinion everybody is entitled to their own opinion i believe you guys are focusing on building the name and the brand heavy right now which is no problem because the ceo said he want his name to be as big as nike and amazon and the top companies within the next five years and you're definitely putting your name out there so that's good nothing is wrong with that but with you doing that you are losing focus on the main people who matter and that's the people who are invested in your coin who's invested in your ecosystem you can take some of that money and start a burn portal or whatever it is to burn more coins we what is it 30 billion coins that is honestly too much in my opinion because people are real so we're looking at bnb people looking at ftx they're looking at these other companies where the price is a hundred times a thousand times more and we understand every company is unique and different but the money opportunity for us who invested haven't necessarily been there because you've been spending money on like back to what i was going to say with the super bowl super bowl commercial that was my first red flag with crypto.com because you have let's say we have coinbase coinbase probably spent a million dollars at max to have a qr code completely go around the screen that is how you get people to run to your product download your product implement something that, that was great your marketing thing was let's get the biggest and best name let's get lebron james not talk about crypto.com at all it's an indirect subliminal about the future and that does nothing for the utility of the coin i have done tons of video of multiple ways we can increase the utility of the coin i'll probably have that at the end screen where you can actually check it out because i don't feel like getting into it because we we take too long so lately we honestly really have been losing and what you should do what you should do is let your voice be heard on reddit on twitter on youtube literally express your honest thoughts let the team know y'all fucking up y'all messing up and we are not happy about it the price is completely crashing right now I know so that's that's the first thing what I am doing no I'm not doing this video to say I'm selling crow because I believe in the project so I'm going to buy this dip (laughs) so I'm still going to buy in but I won't buy in forever if I don't necessarily see change so this is just a a speed bump in the road this is a honest it's a real bad look of what's going on some things need change so I want to screen share i'm going to show you guys the price of what's going on the price prediction and we will also look at this reddit post actually uh, my son got my phone upstairs let me see if i can find this reddit post real quick all right we are good to go i was able to pull it up somebody said the chronos withdrawal delays are making cdc look bad each week bring a new issue what happened to the CDC that was on fire last autumn with incredible comms, solid service, and so much potential? 
this title got me because, damn, that energy is getting sucked out, right? 20K USDC just sitting there idle for hours and hours. I felt this. And Matt, remember, I told you I had 1,500. This brother or sister have 20K sitting there. You're kind of scared at this point because if I'm thinking I lost a few hundred dollars trading, imagine how much they think they thought they lost. While the team investigate and Crow continue to slow bleed downward as CDC look less trustworthy and it and more incompetence by the week. No wonder why so many are moving their funds and taking their customs elsewhere. This year has really not been good by Crypto.com in any shape or form. The World Cup announcement was a big deal, but it's absolutely pointless if Crypto.com can't even maintain their own blockchain to permit timely, reliable withdrawals and retain loyal holders. Drop exclusive bomb for this person. I really hope Chris and other senior members of the team actually bother to read the feedback and take on board like many other Crypto.com private customers. I'm so close to jumping ship unless Captain Chris can turn it around and start showing and start showing us that CDC actually know how to listen to the opinions that matter and loyal customers. This is huge, bro, because this is 100% how I feel. But you can't always articulate it like I can articulate on video. This person can articulate it in a writing piece. They're right. Look at this. Look at this. 12% down. Look at that, y'all. Crashing. It's crashing because crypto, y'all, are dropping the ball. People can't take their money out. Our high was close to, what, 90 cents, right? 85, 90 cents. Since our high, we've been going down. And trading sideways and going down. This is not good. This is giving me under 20 cent energy. If so, I'm going to buy. <laughs> but this is giving me under 20 cent energy. But my thing is, let me come back. Who are we going to jump ship to? Because I'm with the shits. I jump ship real quick. Take that money. That's why I don't have all my money in crypto.com. Uh, we can take our money and move it elsewhere. Crypto, if y'all not going to listen to us, y'all going to keep on being all in the videos, dancing and stuff, but not having your loyal customers back. There's going to be consequences and repercussions. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments. I'm Lando Sess. I hope all is well. Talk to you guys soon.